Hmm. Hmm. Well, who could it be? Who dare knock on me door, ye? I think I know what I'm gonna make a video on. In my last video, you guys could probably tell that I was running low on ideas to what I could make when this morning I got a package, and as you can probably tell by this point, it was the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. Now, while I have not talked about this figure as much as I have things like the Mega Raptor, for instance, it's right up there with it as one of the best Mattel dinosaurs ever made. This is the fourth Hammond Collection dinosaur that I've gotten so far, and it's probably my favorite. Objectively, it's not as good as ones like the Tyrannosaurus that I reviewed previously, but in my opinion, this is probably the most visually appealing one out of the lot, and probably the most fun to play with. Of course, being a Hammond Collection figure, the Ceratosaurus here is very, very poseable, but I especially like playing with this one because it's probably the most photogenic. There is a lot of nice poses that this figure can achieve, which is really surprising considering that it's in the medium-sized range, and from my experience, besides like the Baryonyx, they're not really too poseable. The Parasaur and even the Berry sometimes has a little bit of trouble getting certain poses that I want them to achieve, but the Ceratosaurus does not have any any trouble at all. In fact, I'd even say the T-Rex cannot get as good of poses as the Ceratosaurus can. Even after a day of having the thing, I've probably gotten at least 15 good poses out of the figure. You guys, of course, are seeing a handful of them now, but when I tell you there's a lot, there's a lot. One issue that I've had with some of the Hammond collection previously is that some of them have some loose joints, but I can happily say that the Ceratosaurus does not have that problem. In fact, there are even some joints that I'd say might be a little bit too tight. Moral of the story, to say that this figure is stunning would be an understatement. It's also a pretty hefty figure too. Here it is next to the other Hammond collection figures for reference. It's bigger and bulkier than the Baryonyx, and it's about the same size as the Parasaurolophus, but of course, the Rex still towers over it. The Ceratosaurus is not necessarily a centerpiece, I'd say, but it definitely makes this set look a lot better. And I think that'll probably be my review of the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus. Overall, this figure is fantastic. I would definitely recommend it to anybody. However, I paid like 47 bucks for it. I, I don't recommend that. But other than that, yes, this figure is very good. It's probably my favorite Hammond Collection so far. And I will be using it more in the future for like films and such. You guys can look forward to that. Now ending this video off with another question. What would you guys like in the Hammond collection? You know, I'd like a Spinosaurus or an Asutoceratops, maybe even a Kentra. What the fuck were you thinking?